How's it going guys? It's Poetry Set and welcome to a, another video of the Spanish Empire, the Kingdom of Spain, rather as we are currently. We'll be an empire soon enough. I mean, I don't think there's actually any way to change the name, but still. We are the Empire, the Spanish Empire. And we're gonna go on and get going here. Um, so where we last left off, it's a new day of recording for me. It's a, kinda late at night, it's almost 11 o'clock on a school night, so you know, it's late enough. Um, I'm feeling a little better though, and I don't have any videos in the backlog, um, and I kind of need to get some videos in the in the kettle, you know, um, <clears throat> and so I'm recording. I feel mostly better over my sickness. I'm, I'm feeling at like a, well, yesterday um, I was at like a, a 9 out of 10 on the sickness scale. Now I'm at like a 4 and a half. <clears throat> I'm a little worried that Germany might declare on us or something. Um, they have strategic reasons to not be friendly towards me. It's kind of worrisome. That's actually very worrisome. Hmm. I'm hoping we could avoid direct conflict with Germany. Um, but uh, right now we're waiting for cultivating fanat cultivate fanaticism to finish. Uh, it's a long focus, but it will give us a lot of bonuses. A lot of really good bonuses. Um, which will... Uh, let me just make sure the recording looks good. Which will help if we come to blows with anyone. But uh, especially, I'm looking in the near future. If we try to restore the Iberian Union. I think this event is one that maybe... It either, I'm assuming it'll either put us in a direct war, or we get their land for free or something. And either way, we want this to happen. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, let's go ahead and... We don't really need the population right now. I'd rather wait till we could uh, speed it up. We are waiting to get our fifth research slot. Um, we might as well start doing doctrine for other things. Well, let's see. Uh, since I haven't recorded a few days, you'll have to forgive me. I'm kind of a little behind or, you know, a little out of the loop on things. I've been doing a, on stream, on Twitch, I've been doing some of my Portuguese run. I've been doing a Monarchist Portugal, uh, where I actually have been able to reform, you know, reunite Brazil and Portugal in that game. And uh, conquer Spain even in the latest stream. And that's been pretty fun, pretty intense, but yeah, pretty uh, pretty good. Let's see, we should keep these all up to date. Um, these are all good to do. We'll start catching up on research now. Recovering from Civil War is annoying, but it'll go away eventually, and I think we already have all the modifiers to it that we really could get, but uh, still. Um, let's see. So yeah, after this is done, we'll do Restore the Iberian Union, and then we'll start working on the fleet things. Which are, you know, gonna be fine. Um, it's interesting, this tree, you know, Spain now has a massive tree where this is only half of it, right? This is the, the nationalist side. If you go to the Republican side, you have equally as much. But you, you are kind of limited, right? Like, we can only actually take about a third of the options, which is a sixth of the total options. So we really are limited, and I think that actually, for that reason, Spain actually... Any single type of Spanish, any any variety of Spain that you go with, actually, I think has somewhat of a weak tree. Um, you know, you I think no matter what, you get the right amount of like research slots, but um, but I don't I don't see any real bonuses to like industry from. Well, no, we had a few, didn't we? We had a few industry ones. Most of our stuff is focused on like military bonuses and uh and stuff but like there's not there's i don't think there's as many things focused on like um on like research right like normally you'll have like six or seven different focuses that focus on like army modernization and then you have on like mechanization or you know mechanized modernization and then you'll have like artillery research stuff uh focuses right normally you have quite a few focuses that um go along different routes like actually like so i've been playing as portugal and this is what kind of what i'm thinking all right, let's look at Portugal over um, over on this side. Like they have a whole little branch here for army reorganization, and then you get this one, and you get this one, this one, and this one, and like here for the this stuff here, you get like you know oh look at this like um, you get 
motorized research, artillery, advanced artillery, armor, mechanized, right? Spain in none of the varieties have that. I feel like it almost might be good if they... I mean, it's already a lot of focuses, don't get me wrong, and a lot of cool stuff. But it would almost be good to just have, like, even if it's just, like, a very small generic um, thing that gives some research bonuses, have, like, a separate branch that any Spain can get. Um, I feel like that might be good, but it's not. It's a very minor nitpick. <coughs> okay. Not that I think we really need it. It's just, you know. Okay. So what are you building? I don't even remember. Industry for us is not our strongest point right now. <laughs> Certainly not. Um, how many planes do we have right now? I'm going to go ahead and disband these naval bombers. Oh, that's what I want to do. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just have it like that. Eh, I'm not going to get the rubber. I'm, I'm lazy. Um, we're going to have synthetic oil, which will give us rubber eventually. At least we have high stability. That's one good thing. Okay. Almost done with this. Again, this is going to be really good to get this. Um, Alright, we also have enough to do another thing here. Do we have any political advisors left? No. Wish we could get this guy, but again, we're kind of limited by our choices. Um, in fact, we are quite limited, but, you know, attrition is better than nothing, so. Alright. And I do think, yeah, I think we want to go with the uh, Restore the Iberian Union thing. I'm, I'm hoping this doesn't... I'm hoping if this declares war on them for us, it, it's like an event, so it doesn't count as fabricating or justifying war, which means they shouldn't get, like, guaranteed or anything, but I'm wondering if we get into war, will they join a faction? I don't think so, because we're not in a faction. But uh, maybe they've changed how that works, or maybe I'm just misunderstanding mechanics of the game. That's... Certainly wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Here's something we should think about. If Germany declares on us, what do we do then? Germany or Italy or anyone, Vichy, France. If that happens, what do we do then? Well, it's going to suck. If anything... Oh, there they go. Germany and the Soviets are fighting. If anything, I probably would join the Allies. I wouldn't mind joining the Allies, and that would be a fairly... That would be a kind of a historical thing. I mean, Spain didn't join the Allies, but they didn't join the Axis. And after the war, they, you know, close in their ties with like the U.S. through the, the Marshall Plan and stuff. Actually, if you, if um, if anyone, there's actually a very famous um, Spanish movie, um, kind of making fun of that, or or it was a uh, dur it was made during the dictatorship uh, in like the I believe in the 50s or the early 60s, something around then. Um, it's called Bienvenidos, Mr. Marshall. Welcome, Mr. Marshall, you know. Um, basically, um, anyway, so it's interesting, right? Just from the name, Bienvenidos, Mr. Marshall, right? It's uh, it's bilingual. Um, because the idea is, it, it's interesting. It was during the dictatorship, and it was produced in Spain, but it was made by um, people who certainly did not support the monarchy, or the um, dictatorship. And uh, it was very critical of them. But in a way, it, but it was satire. And um, during that time, at least the way I understand it is that the, the, um, hmm, let's see. Let's actually do this now. The, at the time, you know, the, uh, they had a censor office, right? They had censors. But uh, because the script on paper looked perfectly fine and mundane, right? And it seemed very supportive. And then they approved of it, but in reality, when the movie is produced, it was produced, and when it came out, um, it the things they say are like, you know, um, all very supportive in their words, right? But they are framed as being like, well, this is obviously stupid, <laughs> right? Like there's like. Um, like, the mayor of the town is very much like, yes, we should support this endeavor to get the... Uh, pretend we're something we're not to get the Americans to give us money so that... For the Cold War, basically, you know. Um, and they're basically like, you know, we should do this, um, but the mayor is portrayed as an idiot. So you're like, well, you know. <laughs> um, and it makes fun of, like, the, you know, the, the 
fascist dictatorship and stuff. Um, and the, anyways, it, it's you know it's it's just satire, uh, making fun of the government and stuff. Um, and uh, but it's interesting though, because yeah, historically, the U.S. basically didn't care that Franco had basically overthrown democracy. And I mean, it's not really surprising knowing the U.S. You know the record we have here in the U.S. of overthrowing democracies. You know, I'm, I'm American, but I don't mind calling us out on that. <laughs> it's a it's a real thing, you know. Um, and while while the U.S. didn't help to overthrow democracy in Spain, um, and in fact, uh, to be fair, I think the U.S. would have preferred if democracy would have remained, because it would have been it would have meant an even stronger ally, more likely, um, post World War II. But still. Um, they certainly didn't mind giving Francoist Spain lots of money and resources to rebuild um, to help against the Soviets, um, to get air, air bases and naval bases in places along the Mediterranean and, you know, in Europe in general. Um, but, uh, but anyways, that's, uh, so it's interesting, you know. <coughs> but at the same time, it's like, at the same time, um, and, and they did that with all of Europe, you know, they did that in, <clears throat> in Italy, in France, and Germany, in the Balkans, you know, but, uh, at the same time, it's like, sure, you know, they're, they're basically supporting this regime that overthrew the democracy and is very repressive and, and pretty awful, um, but at the same time, the the I know the forties in Spain, the first like decade after the Civil War, very rough, right? Like um, lots of famine and hunger and, and poverty um, caused by the destruction of the war and just you know instability and, and um, this was still right off the back of the the Great Depression, which affected the whole world. And so um, the uh, and so at the same time, it's like the Marshall Plan. It helped the people of Spain, right? So it's not all bad. I don't know. It's one of those interesting situations where it's like, um, what are the ethics of something like that, right? Anywho. Hopefully you guys don't mind me rambling about stuff like that. <laughs> philosophical question. Not, not only philosophical, but just, you know, historical ones. <clears throat> okay. I'm curious what's going to happen with this event. I'm a little worried. How many troops do they have? Actually, probably more than me, so... Maybe I should have been a little more cautious with this, but uh, we at least have every province on the border covered, right? Yeah. A couple extra. Well, let's hope we can do it peacefully. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Okay, this is what I figured would happen. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Their position can effectively be summed up as, come get it if you're hard enough. That's funny. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm worried that this will cause them to be guaranteed if we don't declare soon. Um, but we're both on the line, so maybe not. I don't know. I, I, should we declare right away, or should we... Have I, I have my, my spies here. I, I had one of them. Um... I feel like we should declare because here's the thing so like even if they hmm. let's see what do we know about their intel I think we declare I think I think we do it I don't want to risk losing this opportunity having to like fight the allies which would just not even be viable so let's do it um Start doing this now. Yeah. 
We want to push right at the start, I think. And then if we hit heavy resistance, we'll, we'll just stop and let them kind of bash themselves against us for a while. Alright, you guys have to actually go though. I know they're like nervous because they... I'm hoping that not all of their troops are actually here. Let's look at like the attack bonuses and stuff, right? So, so we have decent attack and this is nighttime. I think we, we could probably, I think our troop quality is roughly equal with theirs, or at least not too far removed, to be ridiculous. Um, other than that, just let our, let our guys keep going. I, and here's what I'm relying on, it seems to be true. I think a lot of their troops are probably overseas, right? In Mozambique and Angola and in Gao, Canton, or... Um, it's not Canada, it's, it's uh, Macau. It's right next to Canton. But anyways. Um, you know. We're gonna... And if we can get these guys out of here, this will help us as well. A lot. That's beautiful. We'll overran that one. I think we're gonna be fine. I was a little worried, but like, you know, it's, it's a bit risky, but it always is, obviously. But uh, just keep going. Now we've we've tightened up the line, and I think we're more than gonna, we're gonna be more than fine now. Um, go and do that, yeah. Contest them. We have enough, more than enough uh, fuel to last us for that. And yeah, other than that, just just keep pushing. We look like we're already pushing into there, so that's good. All right, this is this is going actually really well. Uh, once we kind of broke through them, it seemed like they basically just collapsed. So I guess our armies are a little stronger than I thought. Uh, we did just get the. Uh, to be fair, I guess we did just get the freaking fanaticism, which is attack, breakthrough, um, speed, etc. That's a lot of bonuses. Don't get me wrong, I, I realize that. Look at that, beautiful. Beautiful, already got him. Um, so with Portugal, normally what I've done in the past when I played to Spain, because I have played a bit of Spain before this expansion, uh, normally what I do is I take mainland Portugal and I take the, the islands here. Oh no, they actually sold um, or lent Ponta Delgada to uh, to the British. That's annoying. Normally, I take everything here, but then I I satellite these other um, places in in Africa. Um, because normally I was like I don't care to really manage it, and that way they can make better use of the manpower. Unlike Portugal, Portugal has events or you know decisions they can take that um, that make it core land. Which makes it very beneficial. For me, it's not really going to be beneficial ever. It's not core. I don't feel like messing with it. It would be better to have um, some satellite states down here. Who are probably not even going to be that helpful for most of the game. But still, it be more helpful. Probably more helpful than if I were to have them. So. Um, one, two, three. And the last thing is the islands and other little things they own. Do we want to take those or not? Um... Mm, that's where I'm not sure about it. I'm like, do we... I guess I could take all the rest. Like, uh... Um... Is that worth it, though? Or maybe should we puppet them and leave them with their little islands and stuff? <laughs> uh, and little, little naval ports. I don't know, actually. I don't know, because I... I kind of don't want to mess with it, but again, well... No, well, that's fine. We'll, we'll take all the stuff. Take Gao. No, so, okay, so, it, hold on. Uh, Sao Tome, that's the other one. So, we just gotta remove that. Remove that. Oh! No, I wanna take all the states, but I don't want Angola. Angola, Mozambique. 
or Guinea. There we go. You know, this should be correct. I mean, actually, no, no. Let's just be safe, and I don't want to take any land from the puppet. So let's just do this. End the turn. I mean, just do this. End the turn, and then you take all the states. Look at that. There you go. Beautiful. Okay. So we have Angola, and they're all non-aligned, so they actually have their normal names instead of weird names. <laughs> beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so that's good. We've got some puppets, and we have more industry. So how's resistance here gonna work? Well, we're gonna have we're gonna have resistance. Um, but you know, what can you do about it? Uh, we shouldn't do area for We should do a front line on the border up here, you know? Alright, well, I'll tell you what. <coughs> this, uh, my timer's gone off. I don't have a lot of time tonight, so I'm going to try to get some good videos, a few good videos done. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. Thanks for watching this episode of the Spanish Empire Restoration. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow, or later today, possibly, with another video. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe for if you enjoy. See you guys later.